you decide to begin your current project? What was the challenge or inspiration? I think that what started up by the amount of the art fair that we're going to have. So can you show us the sketch and like how you came up with the idea? Sure thing. We want to be, this is my check sketch that I thought for my Leningrad print. But I decided to do some changes with the print itself. So instead of that whole showing, because it'll take a lot of props that to create. So how did you come up with that idea? What is it? What's the story behind that? Pretty much my uh, bond of steampunk that I really caught. Okay, is there like a, is that certain land or something you had an idea for? I think, yeah. A land that being carried by a large mechanical person. What did you think about the carving? Was it frustrating at first? Yes, the carving itself was a little hard based on the material used with the golden cut, not the easy ones, which took me a little longer than I expected. So, so at first you were frustrated, but then you started to get the hang of it and you got found out you were really good at it, right? Yes, but I was able to handle smaller details much more efficiently than I would realize. Mm. In what ways will it be presented and shared? Pretty much I created multiple prints of this artwork for selling. Mm -hmm. And pretty much I also do enjoy presenting my artwork to my to other students in the art class. Mm -hmm. Showing the progress I made. Evaluate the work you've done. Evaluate. Yeah. I think, you, I think you've done a good job on things. I believe. This has become great so far for me. I never imagined that it will turn out pretty much great. And the work that I put off pays. Hard work pays off. What feedback have you received so far? Pretty much very good feedback with the progress I made. Some were amazed. So tell us about the other things you've made this year. So your first painting, is that was it the one on top? Oh no. My first painting was just eight. Practic painting. Okay. With blue and white variation that tetting. Okay, tell us about that one, the triangle. This painting up here, mm -hmm. known as Nature Beauty. I decided to challenge myself by create a complete painting with the current knowledge I have. Pretty much put my creativity about my boundary and comfort zone, challenging myself. And I end up coming with the idea of doing this specific shape representing with nature. The sun at the center and trees surrounding the triangular shape. Now what's the one below it there? The other one when my idea to do nature again, but with something more unique. It was hard at first to come up what other specific theme I could go through. And then I decided to do like glass shards for the lead in the ground. This artwork was a more lengthy than I would have thought because of the troubling process of having to being between different ideas in the struggle to a motive to Can you show us some of your sketches you got in your folder there? Sure thing. I began working on these sketches, small kind I made for a bigger 
growing that I'm going to do, that growing name, Pandoria, the forgotten day of ungrieving spirit. Yeah, the cute. all the current ideas I brought into the paper. Next up is this optical illusion that, that I'm currently making. But I stole it because of some lacking of motivation for this draw me Thursday. Pretty much multiple perspective right I taking event of to strike the optical illusional effects. Yeah. It's taking more than one perspective. Nice. Tell us about your Christmas painting. Alright. This is my Christmas painting, and saying this is just the bad painting I have done so far. It's for the month of the December and the holidays. Pretty much, this was my idea to do the background of a living room with the campfire and Christmas tree, then with a snow globe on the table. But the other detail on the snow globe wasn't my idea, but a written one that I came out while working on the snow globe itself. Mm. Pretty much bring the Christmas magic to life. Mm -hmm. What's next for you as an artist? Pretty much to explore more variation of art itself and to see if I could improve upon for all those in my own skills and gain more knowledge of how art would be and find my own kind of, kind of skills and stuff that I'm good at. Last drawing. No, that's the Dead Sea. Pretty much my first drawing in this high school. 